Hey guys, it's Lauren. So today I wanted to talk to you about what it really takes to get a home sold in 30 days or less. I talk to people all the time and they'll say, Hey, we met with a realtor. We put a sign in the yard. We put on MLS and we thought people were going to see it. We thought we'd have all this traffic coming through. And the fact of the matter is that that's just not enough, especially right now in a market where we have lots of inventory in certain areas. Some areas don't, but some areas do but that's just not enough. I even work with contractors and builders who say, you know what, I'm just gonna pay a flat fee service to throw it on MLS, put it on Zillow, <clears throat> and it'll sell. And guys, if that was the case, there would be no realtors. It would be so sad, but you wouldn't need us, and you definitely do. And I'm gonna tell you 3,500 plus reasons why you do if you wanna get your home sold quickly and for top dollar. So if you're interested, keep watching. All right, so you guys probably know as well as I do that 92% of buyers in 2018 find the home they're gonna purchase from the internet. But all of those numbers do not come from just MLS or Zillow. So where do they come from? So I'm gonna tell you guys, and what we do on our team at Wild Whittington Properties at Keller Williams Memorial is we create a personal webpage for your property. <clears throat> Why do we do this? Because we want to showcase all the best things about your property that I can share, you can share, your neighbors can share, and everybody can see <clears throat> your personal property and why it is set apart in the market. So what we do is we put all the photos up there that we have taken through professional photography. Um, we put drone videos. We put walkthrough welcome videos. Um, we post uh, <clears throat> about the amenities and the HOA, whether your area has a pool, parks, those types of things. We put area information like school districts, um, shopping, you know, things that are close to the area. And sometimes we do 3D walkthroughs so that anybody from out of town or anywhere online can literally walk through all of your home in 3D and get a really good idea of what the property looks like. <clears throat> so we create that beautiful personal page and you guys, we post it to 3,500 websites. So why is that important? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Because there's not just one buyer. There's not just the one buyer that looks up property on Zillow or MLS in a certain area every six months or every month. There's so many different buyers out there. So what we wanna capture is the out of town buyer. You guys may not know this, but there are lots of buyers that are, um, our biggest migration into Houston is from California, Florida, Dallas, and Austin. So we want to post your property on websites so that we're attracting those buyers that we know are moving into town. We want to capture the relocation buyer. So what does that look like? You know, you guys know as well as I do, oil and gas, healthcare, those are major industries here. And a lot of them are relocating people from other areas to come here because it's becoming more of the hub. Um, you know, I, I spent 15 years in oil and gas sales and I work with companies. I just talked to a major the other day who relocated four people from Denver to come here. You know, we have people going in and out of Houston from Midland because of oil and gas. So that's a big buyer set that we're missing if we're just throwing your home up on MLS or um, <clears throat> Zillow. All right, so the next per type of buyer that we wanna attract potentially for your home is, is an investor. So we've got websites that we're gonna put the home on that might attract an investor who wants to either buy your home to rent it out, and maybe that's part of relocation as well through a company, or that might wanna flip it. You know, Maybe your home is in a good market to be flipped and you wanna get top dollar for it. We'll put it on those sites as well. So beyond just creating this web, web page, putting it out to all these different sites, marketing it on all these different sites, we do a couple other things too. One of those is social ad sets. So you guys know as well as I do, you're probably seeing this video because you're following me somewhere on social, whether that's LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, it goes on and on. And we also know that different buyers gravitate toward different social networks. You might be seeing this on LinkedIn right now and you're a, a professional that doesn't even have a Facebook or an Instagram, but we wanna reach out to those buyers as well. So we do social ad sets that makes it measurable. We're able to track what type of people, um, you know, we kind of create an avatar around the buyer for your home. So let's say you're in an area with a great school district that has mostly families. Well, we want to target mostly families who are interested in schools at a certain age, um, you know, that probably have kids that are school aged. Um, that would be, you know, a good, a good target for your home. So we market to that. Um, and we're able to track how many eyes are on your property. Because guys, at the end of the day, the more people who view your property are gonna convert to the more people walking through the door and are gonna convert to potentially multiple contracts, which is what we want, right? So we do those social ad sets. 
We also do Google retargeting. And what does that mean is, is if you guys know about your, your RAS, it's when you go buy a Ford Focus and then you park at the grocery store and you see a Ford Focus and you see another Ford Focus and then you look at a ad and it's about a Ford Focus. We want to retarget people to see your property all the time. So if they view it on your personal property page from a website or on Facebook or whatever it is, once they go to another site, they're going to see your property. They're going to see your property. So we're going to show it to them on multiple sites. So that's another thing that we do. And then the other thing, guys, is that face-to-face -face networking is not dead. I know we live in a social online world and mostly that's how people are going to get the first impression of your home. But our team is very focused on face-to-face -face contact. So what does that mean? First and foremost, we will always hold a mega open house to get your home sold. We can talk more about that when we meet in person, but what that means is we don't just put a sign in the yard, put the open house on MLS and hope people come. No, that's not gonna work. You maybe get one or two people through the door. So what we do is <clears throat> we door knock the neighborhood because you guys know as well as I do, if you love your neighborhood, you want people you know, friends and family to move in right next door, right? Or maybe not right next door, maybe a couple streets down. So we're targeting those people and saying, hey, who do you know that might wanna live in this neighborhood? We're also targeting in that way the move up buyer. And what that means is if you live in a great neighborhood that people love, maybe they bought it as their first home and now they've had two or three children and they're looking to increase their space, but they don't wanna move out of the neighborhood, right? So it, it's our job to get in front of them and say, hey, you guys have had some changes recently. Um, you know, look at this home. It's 400 more square foot that you might be interested in with a big yard and, and enough room for a pool. Are you interested? Come to our open house. Um, right? So it's kind of targeting that buyer, the move up buyer. Another thing that we do is we circle prospect and maybe you have never heard of that before, but we pull tax records in the area that may not be in your specific, um, <clears throat> neighborhood, but maybe right down the road, which is again, um, attracting that move up buyer. Maybe now they want to get into a better school district. That's what we did. We lived north of our neighborhood and we just went maybe a mile and a half <laughs> to get into a better school district. So we do that. We're making calls. And that's another thing, you guys. Making calls is not dead. Calling our personal network and saying, hey, do you guys know about this property that we just listed at 123 Main Street? You need to check it out. Come to our open house. Look it up online. Here's the personal page. Um, so we network personally that way. Um, another thing that we do is, and I mentioned this before, but you know, I was personally in oil and gas sales for the last 15 years. I have a very large network and I'm connected to a lot of networking organizations that I still go to. So when I go to those, I can say, oh, by the way, you know, I heard that you guys are thinking of moving or, you know, when I talk to my past clients that are in these different industries that are moving, that have people in their network and in their employees that are moving in and out of Houston, we're able to network in that way as well. And the last thing, and probably one of my favorite things is events. So just for you guys to know, we throw an event almost every month um, within, within Wild Whittington Properties, Keller Williams Memorial. And so what that looks like is this month, we're hosting a pints and pumpkins event. Um, and what that is, is we're just gonna basically open up a pumpkin patch. We're gonna let kids pick a pumpkin, um, you know, do a little craft, and we're gonna have a local brewery sharing seasonal brews with the adults. We're even going to have a hayride to move them to see a couple properties in the area. So we're always inviting people to come, and that's just the general public, whether that's within the neighborhood, um, which a lot of times we'll set up an open house around that type of event and really show off your property that way. So I hope that you guys can see that it takes a lot more than just putting a sign in the, in the yard and posting your property on MLS to actually get it sold for top dollar in the time that you want it sold for. I know that it might sound crazy, but you know, there's all these things that we have to do to make sure that people are constantly seeing your property coming through the door and converting into multiple contracts. So if your home has expired or if you were a for sale by owner and maybe all these things didn't get done on your property, contact me today. I'll let you know how I can do it quickly and efficiently um, and get your home sold for you. Or if you're just wondering, um, you know, if now's a good time to list your property or if you want to, you know, go, go looking at new property, definitely book time with me as well. I will put links to my calendar where you guys can book just a 15 minute appointment with me to get an idea of what your home value is right now and what it could sell for and guys don't let people tell you there's a bad season to sell your home there's always a good way to position your home to sell in whatever season that might be um so contact me today let's talk about it going forward 
Also, if I can help you in any way, even if you don't wanna go looking for homes, if you don't wanna list your home, if you have questions, you guys, put it in the comments below, ask me questions. Um, you can always call me at 832-538-5138. And yes, I'm just giving you guys that number. You can always call me, I'm a phone call away. You can find me on all of our different socials, on YouTube, Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram, um, LinkedIn, whatever it might be. And hopefully I can help you or someone you know get your home sold in under 30 days or get you into your dream home. All right, guys, have a great one and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.